32 year old Tom works as a sound and lighting technician for a local theatre. But after a long day at the office, this is where he likes to sleep. I can actually fit in quite successfully. And to be honest with you, from there on in, uncomfortable. It doesn't look very comfortable. It's bizarre. It doesn't look comfortable. Um, but then, I mean, you can then shuff you can shuffle around. You can make yourself a different shape and curl up differently, swap the corners, go to the opposite side. It looks bijou, but actually there's a lot more space in here than you really think. For the past 10 years, Tom has spent every spare moment becoming a dog. If I'm in here for a long, long, long time, um, if facilities needed, puppy training pads. What's a puppy training pad? Puppy training pads, um, they're there for small puppy spills normally, um, but they're quite absorbent. And it, it just means that if I do get sort of suddenly caught out, I've got the chance to relieve and relax. Tom spent more than £4,000 on specially made gear to transform into his alter ego, Spot. This looks challenging. <laughs> it is very challenging to get on. Because it's custom made, custom sized, it's that much more awkward to get into. You uh, need a fair bit of talc. Most rubber pups in the sort of community do actually need a hand to get in, they can't do it on their own. Tom keeps his puppy gear at his friend Rachel's house. Right, don't turn around and do it. Um, Whichever's up to you. Oh, yeah, I'll go that way. There. I think it's time you do a new one. I know. <laughs> it's worse than a pair of tights. Jesus. Whee! Happy? Yep. Right, time for the hood. Got nose tubes. Means I can breathe like a puppy. They got my nostrils. And they then come round to the actual puppy's hood's nostrils. Now they're in there. You can breathe through your nose of a puppy, which is nice. Right. Front paws. I'm a Dalmatian. They want to be on the go all the time. They're an active animal. I do theatre work, so I sort of hide in the dark um, through the sound and the lights and that kind of thing. I don't want to be seen at work. Um, I don't want to be seen in the public eye, but as my pup life, I want to be the centre of attention. For me, cosplay isn't really escapism because you can't really escape something you do all the time um, and you have fun doing, so it's not, you're not escaping anything. It, it's, it's much more than just prancing around and going, oh, look, look how cool I look, I'm wearing a fun costume today.